All right, it's time for some more shadow work, you guys, or ego work to be specific. And it doesn't always have to be this extensively long process. It's just the beginning of awareness, okay, of certain things that you might be driven to do, of certain things that um, certain behaviors that have caught on that you might not be aware of. And a lot of times this kind of connection, because we're going to be talking about ego connections, can be the reason for an absence of depth. It can be the reason why your relationships don't work out, or it could be the reason why you don't necessarily feel fulfilled in those connections, or it could be the reason why you're objectified in your connections. Are you someone that pursues connections or reciprocates interest simply because of how someone looks? Are you someone that obsesses over your own appearance when you're around people that you're dating? And you don't have the energy to actually connect with them because you are so focused on making sure they perceive you as perfect. Do your connections tend to burn bright and then fizzle out quickly? Are you someone that tends to put more energy into a connection than you receive? Are you someone that tends to lose interest after you've actually had the opportunity to get to know the person you're dating? Now, what I just indicated to you are some signs that you're someone that partakes in or you're someone that often connects with people who partake in ego connections. And if you're familiar with narcissism and narcissistic relationship dynamics, this may make more sense to you. Narcissists are notorious for getting involved in and rushing headfirst into ego connections. And then people get hurt when they're discarded by these kinds of individuals. We need to start taking things slower, you guys. We need to start connecting with people based on what's actually familiar or similar internally, not just external pleasure. And this in no way means that you shouldn't be sexually or physically attracted to the people you date. What I'm trying to say is if you were to remove the external appearance or remove the money or remove the glitz and glam or remove the exterior perspective, what would be left? If you were left in a room with this person blindfolded, would you even have anything to talk about? Karmic connections continue because we don't dive deep enough. Toxic connections continue because we're so focused on sex and physicality that we don't pay attention to what's going on internally. Get to know people, you guys. Get to know who it is you're actually pursuing. Because when it comes to lifelong partnership, you need something deeper than surface level. All right, have a great day.